What up, what up, Wimbush here. And as you can see, my setup is a little bit different. I'm actually here in my hotel room because I'm speaking at the Future Proof Conference here at Ringling College, but I did get an email that I thought was way too important not to do a video on, and I'm just gonna jump right into it. As you can see, we finally have the pricing model that's been promised to us last year at Unreal Fest. They say they were gonna go back to the drawing board, kind of make something that is fair, and I actually think they came up with something that was really fair for everybody else out there so if we're looking at my email right now it says we are introducing the new seat based unreal subscription when released with unreal engine 5.4 so that's a big thing right there unreal engine 5.4 and beyond this new pricing model will be eighteen hundred fifty dollars per seat and it will apply to companies generating over one million dollars united states value and annual gross revenue who are not creating games and so that means anybody that is not creating a video game, so that's people that are mostly within my audience out there, we're making cinematics, we're making motion graphics, we're using it for rendering. So anything that is non-interactive, this is going to apply to us. But it gets better down here. It says Unreal Engine will remain free for students, educators like myself, hobbyists, and companies generating less than a million dollars in revenue every single year again which i apply on there as well which i was making over a million but what can you do this is we are not changing our licensing models for game developers who will continue to pay five percent royalty for products that exceed one million dollar in lifetime gross revenue so on the gaming side that just means if you come out with a game and it actually goes over a million dollars in revenue then you start paying that five percent on top of that what is changing for the non-gaming industries right here? We will introduce a new seat bay Unreal subscription as part of the EULA update with the release of Unreal Engine 5.4. And then it has the pricing model, as we said, was $18.50 down there. And it says, okay, you will only need to pay for a seat if you meet the following criteria. You are a company that generates over $1 million in annual gross revenue. You do not create a game and you do not create applications that are licensed to third-party end users and rely on Unreal Engine code at runtime. Then it says you will be able to use a seat-based description to create linear content, for example, film and television shows, architectural visualized designs, graphics for broadcasts, and live events. Products that incorporate Unreal Engine code at runtime and are not licensed to third parties, for example, product configurators used either internally or externally, and then lastly, immersive experiences that are not sold directly to individual users, such as something you would see at theme parks and interactive architectural walkthroughs. Now, this is another interesting tidbit that I got here inside the email that I wanted to share with you guys. It says, if you're currently using Unreal Engine 5.3 or any other prior versions, pricings will not change to apply until you decide to go to Unreal Engine 5.4. And then there's also some interesting tidbits in here because twin motion and reality capture are actually going to be all swept into this so for that 1850 that we had talked about at the top you're going to get unreal engine you're going to get twin motion and reality capture but if we look here we can actually see if you want it only twin motion you can actually get a seat just for 445 445 dollars usd if you want twin motion and then if you only want reality capture you can get that for one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars per year they're no longer going to do the pay per input model that they've had there in the past so again you can get those two things individually but if you get the unreal package you have to get all three so you can't only just get unreal to my understanding right now if you do the unreal package you got to get unreal engine 5 you get reality capture and you get twin motion all aside for that one price but on the flip side look right here it says just like unreal engine both twin motion and reality capture would now be free to use if you're a student educator or hobbyist as well as your company earns less than $1 million in annual gross revenue. And then the last one, which I know might be a big question here, what will happen if I don't renew my subscription? You will not lose access to any of the tools or projects you've created, but if you want to keep using Unreal Engine, Twin Motion, and Reality Capture, the EULA you sign does require you to buy a new seat and renew your subscription. The exception is if your annual gross revenue has changed and you're now making under $1 million. So what this means is, like if you're a studio, one year you make over a million dollars, so you got to pay the licensing fee. 
but let's say the following year you make under maybe you make like nine hundred thousand dollars then you fall under this category as a hobbyist educator or just a content creator and you don't have to pay that fee so this is going to be something that you're going to renew yearly and it's just going to be on a case-to-case -case basis if you have to pay this or not hopefully this clears up a lot of stuff for you guys if you have any questions because i do have the full email here but they're also going to be posting it to their blog in which they're going to go through everything in specifics there as well. Once that is live, I'll link that down in the description below. But hopefully you guys are no longer scared if you need to learn Unreal Engine or if you don't because you don't think you can afford it. This right here shows you it's going to be for everybody. So once again, my name is Jonathan Wimbush. Subscribe if you're new. I promise my, my studio environment looks a lot better than this. But again, I'm traveling on the road, so please excuse the mess back here. But until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.